Hello and welcome to another Popper video. Today we're going to be playing Combotron. And how does this combo work? Well, we're basing it around Mirror Retriever. Mirror Retriever says, whenever Mirror Retriever dies, return another target artifact card from your graveyard to your hand. So if you have a Mirror Retriever in the graveyard and Mirror Retriever on the battlefield, this one dying gets back the other one. You can make this mana neutral by playing Ashnot's Altar, which says sacrifice a creature, add two colorless. So, sacrifice Mirror Retriever for two, play it for two, that's an infinite loop. Now, once you have an infinite loop, how do you win? Golem Foundry here, which you may have seen in other videos, says whenever you cast an artifact spell, you may put a charge counter on Golem Foundry. Remove three charge counters, create a 3 3. So, if you have Altar, Retriever, Retriever in the graveyard, you have infinite 3 3 golems. Having infinite 3 3 golems should win you the game a lot of the time, but we also sometimes have to play for time. And for that, we're playing Impact Tremors. This says whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, it deals one damage to each opponent. So you're dealing one damage per uh, retriever loop, which means you can kill people through fogs, and you can kill through uh, infinite life and stuff. Now, in paper, you don't need the Impact Tremors, and you should actually be playing Makeshift Munitions. Well, Makeshift Munitions doesn't win with just the Mirror Retriever. Um, it can actually kill uh, opponent creatures by sacrificing your stuff. And then once you have once you have the full loop, if you have infinite golems, then you have infinite mana with Ashnot's Altar, because you have infinite golems, so you can sacrifice all the golems to make infinite mana. And then you can use that mana to make infinite more golems, and then pay the, one, the mana cost on this Makeshift Munitions and shoot your opponent with all of the golems. So it's a little bit more pieces for infinite damage, instantaneously, but, uh, well not instantaneously, but after you do the looping. This is probably the better card in paper regardless. And if you do play that, you could get potentially get rid of the scatter shot here, but I might not. Put that back. So, we found the combo parts. And then we also have another couple of combo outs, and one is Scattershot, one damage to target creature with Storm. So infinite uh, loops, infinite Scattershot for all the creatures. Infinite loops, we also have Weather the Storm, gain three life with Storm. I really enjoy playing Storm cards, so that's why I'm playing that here. And then we're supporting it with the Teachings package. So you can Teachings for the one of Scattershot, Teachings for Weather the Storm, Teachings for this other card, Frantic Salvage which says put any number of target artifact cards from your graveyard on top of your library and draw a card. So we are trying to minimize our curve by playing as many one drops as possible other than the mirror retriever. And then we can make a bunch of storm, cast weather storm, cast scatter shot, kill our opponent's creatures, etc., etc. And then we're not weak to graveyard hate in this specific version because we have four conjurers bobble it says put up to one target card from a graveyard on the bottom of your library and draw a card. So we can frantic salvage, get back all of our one drops, bobble back the salvage, you know, teachings for the salvage again, etc, etc, weather the storm again. So this is the idea of the eggs list, but with the altar combo. And uh, this one can close the deck, or close the game a little bit earlier. But I still really like the Salvage Teachings Bobble package because it makes you not weak to Relic. Now in this video, I'm playing Cave of Temptation here as my filter land, but I actually forgot to fix it before I started the League Cove. And we want to play um, Grotto, which is add one mana of any color for a filter, but when it enters the battlefield, you scry one. That's really good because you can use crop rotation to, to tr uh, get Crystal Grotto out, and then that's going to allow you to have like an instant speed scry one, or you can play the Grotto and then cast something instant speed and then resolve the scry. The this, this scry has been very, very important. So don't forget to update it to that, and I will put the Grotto in here and this will be the deck that I export. In the sideboard, we're playing 
three Nile spell bomb for graveyard based combo decks like cycle storm or um ephemerate types of decks and i might bring it in against a blue black terror deck but mostly the way that we're going to defeat terror is by playing chainer's edict and diabolic edict we're just going to keep edicting them out and then eventually win the game we also have one serene heart for bogles maybe not necessary two more scatter shots in case we need to clear the board quickly and then four fang and marauders so the plan versus red decks is to try to get Tron online as fast as possible and then start fangering, fangering, maraudering, and win the game that way. Fang and Marauder is a little bit sketchy against mono red because they can just kill it before you start gaining life. But if, they, if, if the opponent has the mana to both kill the Marauder and turn 3 us, then we probably weren't going to win that game anyway. I enjoy this deck a lot. I like playing combo Tron. I like playing combo. We'll see you in the matches. Welcome to round one. We're versus I Hate Bacon 75. I love bacon, so we're going to try to beat this person. We have Mine Power Plant Tower and a Bobble. I'm just going to keep. Uh, I forgot to upgrade my cave. Darn. Okay. That's fine. Um, Mine. Map. Now we're going to turn two power plant. They're on a white deck, so that could be good for us. Except now it's, oh god, it's slivers. Slivers can win without dealing damage. Or, um, they can win through infinite life. So, our turn. We're going to get the tower. Go ahead. And we're going to play, ball, probably bobble cycle, play terrarion. Okay, we're going to take four. We need to get life really fast. We need to get a ton of golems really fast. We'll figure it out. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's go bobble. I'm looking for a one mana cantrip. What's bobble going to find? Chromatic star. Perfect. So we play tower, play terrarion. Crack this for black. And then we're going to Deadly Dispute the Terrarion. And then we can also play out the Mirror Retriever and block. We have Impact Tremors now. So, we're close to looping. If we find another Mirror Retriever and Altar, we have the Infinite Kill. So what do we want to get back? Probably the Bobble, and then I'll Bobble the Deadly Dispute. We're certainly just going to block and then get a cantrip. Dang. That's uh, six damage. Get back. Um, guess the bobble here. Take 15, or right down to 15. And no sense in mapping. Maybe. Let's map for the cycle land. Right now this is 12 damage. Cycle land. Bobble. Bobble for dispute. So we put dispute back in the deck. Hoping to draw into weather the storm, but it doesn't look good. One, two, three, four, five. We only have five mana. Hmm. This is twelve. Play sphere. I think we're just going to die. If they if they have a lord, it's sixteen damage. I could go to sixteen life, but that doesn't help me very much. Uh let's go to let's red. Wow, we found a scatter shot? Okay. So I can, I have five mana, tap, red, play impact tremors, and then one, two, three, four, 
So we're just going to deal five. We just have to kill one lord. So let's kill... If they didn't have this plate of sliver, we could kill both of these. Just uh, kill the muscle sliver, I guess. So we have one more turn. So best draw would be um, Mirror Retriever, and then we play Cave of Temptation. We Reckoner's Bargain, get back Mirror Retriever, and draw into Astronaut's Altar and combo kill them. That would be the best. Let's see if we can make it happen. Right now we're taking six. Leave the Stampede. Okay, so they give me a turn, sort of. But they're probably going to kill me on the next turn. Can't believe they hate bacon. <laughs> okay, so they get one. This is a lord. The rest are just uh, adding toughness. We're taking six. The next turn we're dead. Okay, we need exactly Retriever into Alter. Cycle. Okay, we can play Golem Foundry and then bargain it. Gain three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it'll be 12 damage. And then if we draw. Uh, chromatic star plus weather. Uh, we draw into mirror retriever, so we can soak up a damage. Pass. Okay, once again, we're in the spot where if we draw into exactly altar, we could win. Seems hard to do. No, they're gonna kill. That exiles it. Oh man, that's a good draw. One two. Darn. That was not expected. Let's see if we could have gotten there. No. Art Exile. Artifact or enchantment. Jeez. Okay, so we're bringing in the scatter shots. Gonna take out the weather the storms. Take out the impact tremors. Bring in the finger marauders. And then we need to cut some cards, so we can probably just cut the teachings package. And then plan on just uh, Fenger and Marauder gaining a bunch of life and then scatter shot them out eventually. Because we can make Infinite Storm with Altar Retriever. We can cut one other card. Uh, I guess a Bobble. Yes. So it's important to probably no remember when we're bringing in the Fangrins and see if the Fangrins are better main deck or not than the uh, teachings plan. There we were just like too slow. Too slow. But we have turn 3 Tron, we have the altar, and since they have that um, thing that exiles the creatures, or exiles the um, enchantments, maybe we don't want to just slam the astronaut's altar right away. Sidewinder Sliver. So we have the full Tron, and we can just go ahead and get a cave. They don't really have anything. Okay. So let's play Power Plant, play out the Altar, play out Terrarion, play out Bobble. Next turn, we're going to plan on to, uh, Cave of Temptation, Deadly Dispute this, draw three, and then uh, see where we go from there. They're just getting in for one. They were banking on drawing lands, but they did not. Okay. Hmm. I'm nervous about them discarding and then exiling this, but I guess it doesn't matter that much. Pass. Not sure they're going to be able to beat that. Yep. Okay. They're just stuck on lands and we just got there. Let's try again. Impact Tremors, not useful. Uh, Serene Heart, not useful. Something like 
Swirling Sandstorm might be cool. All right, we have Power Plant into Sphere, turn two Mirror Retriever, and then we would crack this for black. Reckoner's Bargain the Mirror Retriever, get back the Chromatic Sphere. It's a plan. They play a land. And no Sliver turn one, so that's pretty good. And we have Tron, okay. Boom, boom. Easy peasy. I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, Sidewinder Sliver. We're going to try to play Power Plant, play Mirror Retriever, and not block, because we don't want to... I guess we could have cracked the Sphere, and then blocked, and then gotten back the Sphere, and then played it, and then... But then, I don't know, I don't think it matters. Okay, maybe we are going to just wait on this then. Hmm. Okay, we have Golem Foundry. So we play the tower. Probably just... Hmm. They could have journeyed to nowhere. Crack this. We have a retriever. Well, I think I'm a runner. Pass. Now I can uh, block, gain five life, get back the sphere, play golem foundry retriever, sphere, bargain the retriever, get back retriever, and then we're off to the races. So they have poisonous and flanking, and they seem to not want to attack. That I did not count on. <laughs> I guess I should have counted on it. Okay, golem foundry, mirror retriever, always yes, always yield. So now... Because they did not block or attack, we're kind of hosed because we actually don't have any way to get back our colored source, and the color source was like super important. <laughs> oh man. Um, all sliver creatures, something something, have first strike. Oh no. Okay, that's really, really good. Chromatic star. But they have poisonous, we have to remember. Black. So even though we have a billion life, we might just die to poisonous. So we have to flood the board. Crop rotation. Um, bargain. Sack the retriever. We're looking for exactly altar. We're going to get back the star. Or a deadly dispute. A deadly dispute would be fine. Get back, the, get back the star. Gain some life. Draw some cards. Gaining so much life. We need, um, we need to do stuff faster than, than this because if they get double, um, double poisonous, then we'll be really uh, quickly dead. And are they going to let this resolve? Let's see. Okay, I like that. So I was going to try to crop this out, but now I don't have to. Play Chromatic Sphere. Got to crack it for black. Found a Golem Foundry. Oops, cancel. That's close. Play another Golem Foundry here. Golem Foundry. Chromatic Star. Always yes. And then let's... Crack this for green. Let's see if we draw into something. Banger and Marauder. Um, I don't think we want to do anything else right now, so let's just pass. But if they attack, then we are going to block with a Mirror Traver. And they are attacking. Everything has first strike and flanking, right? First strike and flanking. So what do I do here? This is a 4-4. Four, four. So if I get rid of the poisonous, and I get rid of... And then I just block 5. Getting the poisonous off the table is the thing that's going to matter the most to me, I think, right now. Although they're attacking for a bajillion. Okay, so we'll gain 5. 
Get back Retriever. Get rid of the poison. Maybe I should have blocked one of these. I don't know. All right, so go one, two, two, green. Cast Fangin Marauder. Cast Bobble. So we know they have first strike. Bobble back. Uh, the Marauder. Spear Retriever. Now we can triple block a Lord. Wait, they have double? Why did that not? Oh, because that's first strike. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, jeez. Crap. One. So they all have... Vigilance and First Strike and Poisonous and everything. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're at four. We have to block. We have to block seven. We can only take six poison. But they have Flanking and First Strike. Well, first of all, we know we're going to block here. And then I guess I just... Even if I triple block, it's just going to die, right? So I just... This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 times 4, 24. Hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm just going to, I guess, take it this turn? So I have to, hmm, I guess try to get the altar online. There's really nothing I can do here. Wait, do I just die here? I think I die. I did not pay attention. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. GG. Let's see you in the next one. Jeez. We're here in round two versus Void X. We'll see what they're on. And we opened some lands and stuff to do. I'm just going to keep this and then play Terraria on turn one, and then play Star Star. Although I could potentially wait to play Golem Foundry, but we're looking to get out some lands and stuff and then start disputing and bargaining. And we found a dispute. So that's pretty good. Let's play tower, star, star. Now our opponent's probably going to try to disrupt the deadly dispute, so we want to wait until their turn to cast it. And if they are on Fey, then this is going to get countered, but we have Scattershot for later. It looks like they're not on Fey, they're on some sort of Delver deck or blue-black terrors. And uh, versus the terror deck, Golem Foundry going wide is really good. They mill a counterspell. And they mill some more. So they have one, two, three, four. They have four instances of sorcery, so a terror would cost three. We have crop rotation. Okay. So we're gonna go land. We're gonna try to force their hand on their turn. Since we already had a land drop. If they cast all of their spells, they mental note. Okay. Hmm. I don't want to die to a spell pierce on my crop rotation. But let's see. Go black. Deadly dispute this. Now, if they have a spell pierce, we can crop the power plant. I'm just going to counter. Okay. Alright, so we will green. Crop this for mine. Now next turn we'll have the Fultron. Let's 
would have been nice to do that on their turn so they couldn't do anything else, but I thought maybe since they already cast something. Okay, two counter spells down. So let's play Golem Foundry. Do you have another counter spell? No. Play counter or play Golem Foundry. Ooh, wow, wow, wow. Play Conjure's Bobble is what I meant to say. Then we will bobble the um, Deadly Dispute. Could have also disputed that. Let's play Mirror Retriever. And then I guess we'll plan on blocking. That seems like a good plan. The other option is to just uh, deadly dispute the mirror retriever at that moment, but again, spell pierce would be kind of a bummer at that point. And we can draw the chromatic star, play and dispute it for uh, draw three. They're going to play an angler. Angler is something that we can scatter shot. Cannot scatter shot the terror because we can't pay for all of the uh, initial all the um, ward costs. Do do do. So they decide that it's important for them to snuff out the mirror trigger so they can get in. We could take five. Play a star. We're going to dispute it. Don't click the golden foundry. Oh my goodness. Terrarion. Play a sphere. Land. Terrarion. Bobble. Now we can scattershot the angler. Crack for red. Bobble back the bobble. Red. We also have deadly dispute. That doesn't matter that much though. I think I'm gonna scatter shot the well, maybe I should build a little bit more storm. No, it's already six. Never mind. Okay. Six. It's so much fun to play storm spells. Pew, 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 pew. Pew. Okay, you're dead. They are attacking, and we will attempt to double block. Let's see if they have another um, snuff out or something. Six, block, block. So we got them with the attack step stop, yielding until there, or just like waiting until your opponent attacks. Looks like they're going to cast a fumes. That's also fine. No big deal. So they're tapped out. I can actually resolve this deadly dispute. Do do dispute this, and then maybe I also want a teachings and teachings for the frantic salvage tower. Probably yes. Teachings. Get the salvage. White. Frantic salvage. Get back. All my stuff. I'm just gonna get back everything, even though casting the Terrarions isn't very good. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So one, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'll put this on the bottom. This, 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 this. Go like that. Bobble. Okay, bobble back the salvage so we can get back again later. Then we'll just cycle a star for red or for black. 
do it again. Casimir Trier, pass. Okay. Get back the bobble. I like bobble here because I can put back a deadly dispute. I don't have to pay mana to crack it. Do do do. They're gonna get in. Okay, so we'll go bobble. Right. Sphere. Then we're going to bobble back the dispute. Crack the sphere for black. Then we're going to cast uh, teachings. Grab a dispute. Play a terrarion. Go ahead and dispute that terrarion. Kapoo! Draw some cards. Okay, draw some more terrarions. All right, all right, all right. And then we draw into a weather the storm. So let's just cast it, I guess. Do, 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 do. All right, go ahead. We're going to yield until the attack step again so that... Oh, no, it's over. I love it. We are going to bring in Chainer's Edicts and Diabolic Edicts. We don't need this Impact Tremors or the Scatter Shot. We potentially don't even need the Altar Loop. What do I think about that? Hmm. Hmm. We could maybe just trim the weather the storm. Trim. So I feel like they're going to be bringing in spell bombs and stuff. I just want to edict them out into the ground and then uh, make a ton of golems. So. They're kind of fast, I, but on the on the draw, I could potentially cut a crop, and then cut one bobble. Let's try that. Because my plan is to just resolve two drops anyway. Found an edict. Can we draw into another land? Hmm. I'm keeping. I'm keeping. I'm taking that risk. It's a very risky hand. Land, bobble, get back nothing. Found a map. But having the edict here I felt like was a good thing. So we draw land, no land. Uh, play bobble. They did not sense the, the blood in the water. Found the land, play terrarion. So now we have Deadly Dispute or we have Edict. They'll probably just run out of Counterspell. One, two, three, four, five. They have four instances of sorceries, but they could also cast an Angler. Looks like they're just going to cast an Angler. So from here, what do we want to do? Yikes. Um... Try casting Deadly Dispute, see if I can draw into a land. They're going to counterspell it. The other option there would have been to cast map and then cast map again. Because they probably countered one of the maps. We don't draw a land. They slam for five. Bam. Lose focus. I wonder how many counters they have. Alright, this is not going well. Cast map. I wonder if they'll counter that. Spell pierce. Okay. No. No. Map. 
So they're going to counter this, and now next turn I can Edict them. They probably won't have a counter. They probably have removal spells. They're going to cast Deep Analysis. So I'm free to Edict them, um, but I would really like to have a land as well. <laughs> uh, okay, we take 5, go to 10. We found a land, so we get to play Chromatic Sphere, and then we are going to just cast Chainer's Edict. Let's see if they have it. And I'd have to have another spell pierce. I didn't play around for spike here. Did I just sacrifice a creature? So they're gonna flash back deep analysis. And they're gonna play another angler. They decide not to. We have a map, okay. Map. You should draw into another counter spell. Okay, grab tower. Tower. Play mirror retriever. Now we have the loop, sort of. Not a great loop, but we have a little bit of a loop going. So we can um, dispute the Retriever to get back Terrarion, play the Terrarion, dispute the Terrarion. Okay, snuff it, get back Terrarion. I don't care if you snuff out my Mirror Retriever. So now they have Angler. We're at 10. That's a problem. plays another angler. They can't cast a tear. They have four cards in hand. Let's go ahead and cast Terrarion and Deadly Dispute. Looking for another Mirror Retriever, looking for Golem Foundry, looking for Weather the Storm. We found an Edict. I like that. So, black. Chainer's Edict you. Now we have the Ashnon's Altar Mirror Retriever loop. What's happening? Oh, they're going to lose focus it for a billion? Okay. <laughs> I mean, we have another one we can cast. So that's to lose focus. We will not pay. This, it costs six. We have four. Actually... We have four. Wait, let me think about this. If we crop rotation this for a tower, we have six. Yes. Uh, got him. <laughs> Sick. <laughs> that was busted. I feel bad about that opponent. Sorry. Crop rotation coming in hot. Okay, four mana. Deep analysis. So, cannot cast a terror. Flashback to deep analysis. We're looking for Golem Foundry. Golden Foundry wins the game. Play Altar, play Retriever, play Sphere, dispute the Retriever for Retriever. Okay. Altar, Retriever, Sphere, Black, dispute, get back Retriever. No Golem Foundry yet. Bargain. So we can cast a Retriever. Play Tower. Black. Bargain the Retriever. Get back Retriever. Over here. What do we draw? 
another altar. So let's play the retriever and pass. Okay, so now we can generate infinite storm and then we can cast weather for a billion. I guess it depends on if they have a counter spell for the retriever though. <laughs> It'd be funny to do infinite storm. Although we don't have double oh, now there it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and try this loop. Sacrifice this. Get back retriever. So play the retriever. Okay, sack it. Get it back. Play it. Sack it. Get it back. Alright. Generating some storm. So now we know that we can do that. Play the cave for colored source. Play the bauble. Actually, play the sphere. Star, sorry. Crack for blue. Do do do. Alright. And then we found a polluted mire. We can try playing bauble. Bauble. I should probably teachings now, just in case. Teachings. Weather the storm. Uh, let's go ahead and get back the bauble at the bottom. Get back the other bauble. Mm, cycle this. I guess we just yeah, cycle this. Looking for the golden foundry. Still didn't find it. Alright, um, play Terrarion. Now we just have to decide how much life we want to make. So on um, Magic Online, you just have to like click through things fast. Click this, retriever, then I'm clicking over here, click this, retriever, click over here, click this, retriever, do do do. So we're not winning the game, but we have infinite life, uh, and I just want to make enough life that it doesn't really matter. We have a lot of time, so much time. So much room for activities. Do 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 do. Maybe storm count thirty would be good. Go up to hundred. Can't make us uh, any meme life. We can make four hundred twenty. No, we don't have enough for that. Play this. Play a star. So that seems like enough. Green. Weather. Pass. Let's see how they feel about that. Do do. We're at 87. We can also edict them. Play an auger. So I don't want to edict, edict them anymore. But I am enjoying this situation. And what do we have now? Play another terror. One, two, three. It's gonna cost him four mana. Plays another terror. No problem. We'll just block and get back retriever. Do do. Get back retriever. They might not have realized that I was gonna play a graveyard loop. Um. So we have teachings. Crack this for black black. Teachings. Teaching for a dispute. Because we have to get to the point where we're doing stuff. I think I'm going to play the Terrarion and dispute the Terrarion rather than disputing the Mirror Trigger. Crack that. They just got really... Um, they did not play around crap rotation. <laughs> Who would? Play Power Plant. Black. We're going to bargain the Retriever. We could also play the Altar and bargain the Altar. That's probably a better idea. 
get back retriever. We're gonna go ahead and uh, play retriever for a blocker. Pass. Now we just relax. Take six. Go to eighty-three. Not a problem, opponent. Oh no! Problems are starting. All my edicts, all my lovely edicts are gone. Okay, so we lost a retriever. Darn. If they attack, uh, we can go like this. We can go turn off audio else. Block here. Okay. Crack this for black. Draw a card. Chainer's Edict. F6. Okay. Get back the star. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sphere. Black. Edict you. And then we're going to crack for black again. <laughs> Edict you again. <laughs> Star. Crack for black again. <laughs> Edict you again. <laughs> uh. Poor opponent. Okay, so now we just play Carnage's Bobble. Play... Terrarion, land, blue, teachings. I'm going to get the bargain. So we have two golem foundries, one, two retrievers. We should be able to get there. We have one, two, three, four, five. Five lands in the deck. Not great. That's not, not really the best. Um... We can bargain and then uh, bobble back the bargain, and then we can teachings for the bargain again, and then bargain the altar, and then hopefully we can draw into the gold foundry. We need them to not have spells on again, so we'll run out of stuff to do. They thoughts card themselves. So how many creatures do they have left? One, two. Three, four. So they have potentially four five fives left. They do nothing. All right, perfect. I'm going to play the altar. Crack this for black, black. Uh huh. Okay, never mind. We'll play the map. Get a land out of our deck. Tower. Bargain. This. Game three. Bobble back the bargain. Found the golden foundry. Play the golden foundry. There's our win condition. <laughs> no! Okay, so now what we're going to do is play this. Six teachings. Get the frantic salvage. Play uh, out a chromatic star. And then hopefully they don't have um, something that can counter this frantic salvage. Mental notes themselves. Still no threats. How many counter spells have they played? One. Two. Three. So there's still more counters in their deck. They're considering. Considering their life choices. They did mill and ice tunnel. 
some counter spells left. I don't think they can win because we're just going to mill them. Although maybe we'll mill out first if we don't resolve this salvage. But we're gonna they're gonna run out of baubles. Or we're not gonna run out of baubles. It just depends on how many spell dogs they have, really. They mill us. Okay. Not my Reckoner's bargain. Mill us again. Four. Yeah, this is the same situation I got into before, where I'm potentially going to mill out. What's going to happen? Play it. Thoughts go on me. There's a mirror retriever in the graveyard, so that's the loop. Okay. So we go white. Granic Salvage, we get back one of the Mirror Retrievers, and then we get back the Golem Foundry, the Bobble, Bobble, Foundry, and then leave the other Mirror Retrievers and put the other stuff on top of the deck, just so we don't deck out. Okay. And then we will put back Terrarian on the bottom, Altar on the bottom, the Terrarian, and then all these cards. Golem Foundry. Draw. Play Golem Foundry. Uh, play Mirror Retriever. Okay. Now we just have to execute. Do, do, do. Sack. Play this. Sack this. Put this over here. Try to make this easy. This here. Retriever. So frustrating thing is, okay, do that, like this, second again. Now we have to make a ton. So we're just looping. So for every three loops, we get one golem. And we want to do a lot of loops. And we probably want to draw into the bobble, actually. the bobble. That way, if if all goes to heck, we can bobble back the frantic salvage on our upkeep, and then we can uh, frantic salvage for everything back. Okay. Retriever. Play retriever. Keep doing it. Here we go. That's four golems now, which is enough to kill them. Let's make a couple extra, because they've got seven cards in hand. Do, do, do. Executing the combo. You have to press OK. So if you're not familiar, I'm pressing my 2 button, which I've mapped to OK. You can see here. it doesn't map. Uh, 2 doesn't map to OK originally. 2 maps to pass until response, which is something that you definitely don't want to press, because it just passes your turn, unless the opponent does something. Definitely not what you want. So if you want to map two to okay, you have to rebind it. And we're still looping. I like to go to 30. I don't know why. Just what I like to do. Because that's 10 golems. I have to have quite a bit of damn it of stuff to deal with me. I've got my edicts and everything. So how many more loops is this? Okay, there's one. Two, three, four, five, no, five, six, seven, 
Now, if we were in paper, we'd have just won this already, right? We'd have just been like, I made infinite life. And the opponent would have been like, okay, you win. You frantic salvage everything back and just say, like, you're just going to deck out, buddy. But, unfortunately, we have to do stuff. Play this. F6. We are not going to F6 during their turn because we need to um, play around something that is... That there's an edict that exiles your creature. Uh, I don't remember what it's called. But we don't want that to happen. This actually showcased why now why this frantic salvage loop is really good, and potentially playing the teachings package in Ultratron is still fine, even without the cost reducer, because we were able to make enough storm, we had enough just so many cards, and we were playing all one drops, basically, and then we're just gonna like frantic salvage everything back, make more storm. I do enjoy playing the Edict control deck against the Turbo Terror deck. It's pretty fun. So the opponent is thinking over their life choices, and we will give them an opportunity to do that. Okay, they decide to pass. Do they pass the turn? Plays a land. Five cards in the library. I think they have one, two, a couple of terriers left. I try to thought scour us to death. They're thinking through it. Plays a terror. Okay. Plays a mental note on themselves. They could two cards. They build an angler. So they are pretty that's another deep analysis in the graveyard. Deep analysis themselves. Okay. Okay. Going out. Going out solid. Plays a spell bomb. Sure. <laughs> Cracks a spell bomb. <laughs> Honorable death. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you in the next match. Okay, round three. Dario Simp. I don't know who Dario is, but they're Simp. I'm going to keep this. Maybe it's Dario's MP. Dario's MP. We have turn three Tron. We have one colored source. So it's a little sketchy. We don't have much to do, but when you're playing Tron, if you keep turn three Tron, that's good, right? That's the plan. Land. Map. Oh no. Go. Go upon him playing uh, Goldmire Bridge, which means to me they're on the um, Mardu deck, which is probably going to lose to us. But we're going to have to execute. When they start wildfiring our lands, that's going to be a problem. That's not what we want to have happen. We could play Tower into Star into Salvage the Expedition map and the Star. Play the Star. Play the Expedition map. Yeah, this is the Mardu deck, right? So, play... I think I actually want to do this. Star. White. Salvage back these two. Play Terrarion, play Star. And this way I can have the map in play in case they have some wildfire stuff happen. Oh no, but if they wildfire this turn, then I'll still get wildfired. Oh well. I guess it's dependent on whether or not they have the wildfire this turn. Makeshift munitions. Not really worried about makeshift munitions. Okay. So we're going to play the map. Um, the map. Uh, crack this for black black or blue black then we can teachings too so we're going to deadly dispute this what do we want our teachings for probably another dispute at the moment play a mine pass the turn And then we'll also teachings for maybe weather. Place a synthesizer. Okay. So we're just trying to not get wildfire at the moment. But they're going to do it anyway. Are they going to wildfire us or them? They know we have the map in play. We can just grab whatever we need. It's not really big of a deal. 
Mountain. If I were them, I would wildfire themselves. They're just going to go for the tower anyway. Fine. Map or tower? Scary, scary. I'm not really worried about it. Tower. Okie dokie. Uh, pass. Yes. Grab our basic. Fortunately, I only have that other one basic in the deck. So we could, con we could like, maybe discard a basic and then bobble it back. Okay. Play this. Let's cycle. Mirror Retriever. Deadly Dispute the Retriever. What do we need back? Another star. We're going to get back map again. Draw two. Play the bobble. Play this. Let's undo. Let's bobble back uh, salvage. Play ball. Bobble back uh, dispute. Okay. So let's just go sphere, star, green. Gain some life. So if they had more lands in play um, from wildfiring their own land, they could be doing more stuff here, but they don't. So they're just like playing dinky creatures. We're still looking for our all of our all of our combo. Play some dinky creatures, Navigator's Compass. And this is a deck that we probably want to bring in uh, Fangren Marauder against. Firecrunner's Bargain. So we have Bargain already. I think I just... Teachings. Grab the Salvage. White. Oh, that's pretty good. Um... So we're gonna salvage. I have to. I want to just draw another card. Black. Salvage back all my stuff. This and this and this and this and this and this. Now versus this opponent, we're gonna want to watch out for um, dust to dust post board. So let's see. Get rid of. Put this on the bottom, this one, this, this, bobble, bobble, and then we cast a bobble, get back our salvage, cast a bobble, get back our bobble, and then we're going to discard a mine, and next turn we're going off, assuming they don't have a wildfire on the Tron land again. I should have uh, maybe discarded the, the swamp and then bobbled it. Didn't think that through. I talked about it before and it just didn't do it. Play Skyfisher. Play another Skyfisher. Pick up some synthesizers. Find the lightning bolt. Bolts us to 38. Attacks me to 36. We're at 38. And we still have the weather storm in the graveyard to bring back later. Boundary. Sphere. Always yes, always yield. Always yes. Okay, star. Crack for black. Play the Terrarion. Dispute the Terrarion. Play the Mirror Retriever. Now we're going to want to hold up that uh, crop rotation there. Let's go ahead and bargain the Retriever. Get back a, I guess, the bobble? I don't know what I'm doing. Get back the bobble. Ooh, alter loop. Okay. Bobble. Okay. Bobble. Yep. And we're going to bobble back the weather of the storm, just in case we need it later. We found our other weather storm. I forgot we had that in the deck. <laughs> bobble back the bobble. We found an expedition map. Pass. 
So now we just need to find the second retriever, and then we have infinite golems, and we just smack them. They are at 26 life from all of their uh, playing compass, pick up compass. Okay, hawk. Yep. You're hawking. Caw! They pick up synth. Yep. Radiant fountain. I think they played a land. No, they didn't play land yet. Alright. So, they play another synth. And find another hawk. So they're doing a lot of stuff. Plays a hawk. Now we get to the point where we want to teachings for scattershot to kill everything. I guess once we have the Ashdon's altar loop online, we make a bunch of stuff, we scattershot them out. That's pretty nice. I love Infinite Storm. Okay, yes, yes. You're at 31. Alright. Let's just... Yes. Okay. Golem Foundry, I like that. And then we'll play Sphere. Always yes. We're out of at teachings, so we're gonna teachings with this one. Actually, let's map for tower first. Play the tower. Blue. Just thin the deck a little bit. Teachings. Deadly Dispute. Dispute this. Found the other weather storm. Found the mirror retrievers. It's on. Cast the star. Okay. So now we just attack. Make a golem. Sack a golem. Play retriever. And then we just start doing that. Play retriever. Sack this. Get back retriever. Play retriever. Sack it. Get back retriever. Retriever. Luckily, since we have double altar, we have uh, a lot of power pretty quickly. Mm. We know they're going to bring in uh, Relic Post Board, though. We have to play around Relic and stuff. Oh, they scooped. I love it. Thank you, opponent. We are not going to be playing any way to deal with the Relic. And I think Impact Tremors is not necessary. Scattershot is good. If we're bringing the Marauders in, we don't really need the Weather the Storm. Cut a Weather the Storm. Cut one crop. Although they're playing Wildfire. I think we just cut a crop rotation anyway. And then we can cut one Teachings. It's kind of trimming. Let's see if that'll do it. So in the end of that game, we could have just teachings for scattershot, scattershot them out, and then weather for bajillion. Hmm. One land. I don't think we can keep one landers. Not this time. This is one lander we can keep. Keep. We're going to put back teachings. Go tower into crop. Tower into Terrarion, turn 2 hold up crop. Or we're going to play Cave into Terrarion, turn 2 hold up crop, that's probably better. Terrarion. Okay. They pick up a land. Tower, star, pass. Do 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 green crop this 
So do I get tower or get mine? I think I'm going to get mine. Because um, we don't want to thin our deck too much of towers. I don't know. It doesn't matter, right? We can bobble back the tower. Bobble. Get back the tower. Play power plant. Play a bobble. Pass. Um, a little bit worried about dust dust here. We don't want to play our altar loop until we have the actual combo online. They are going to wildfire. Okay, we can't do anything about that. Get a swamp. But that gives us the easy access to Reckoner's Bargain. People love to wildfire you. It's their favorite thing to do. We drew another mine. Don't you look silly. Bargain this. Okay. Altar. Mine. So we have tower. Okay. We could play the alt. Should have just played the altar there. Munitions. Plays munitions. Swamp. Ooh, we have to play around Chainer's Edict on the Marauders. Um, one, two, three. I'm just going to play the altar here. And then next turn I'll play the mine, and then play the marauder. And then I can bargain away the marauder if they have an edict. And I, I can also bargain the Ashnaut's altar if they try to dust it. But they don't have anything, I don't think. I was going to have six. Yeah, my turn. So I'm going to go green. Do, do, do. Seven. Play Marauder. Play Expedition Map first, actually. Play Marauder. We can crack a map for the Cycle Land or for any one of the Tron Lands that we... Um, get wildfired or something, and then get five life. If they play a journey to nowhere, I'm just going to bargain the thing in Marauder. Okay, Bolt. Or Galblast for four. So every deck has Galblast now. And then we just uh, draw two. No problem. Okay, so we have the Golem Foundry, and that means that if we can find double um, Retriever again, we have the Infinite Loop. But we haven't drawn into the Retrievers yet. Green, play Fangon Marauder, crack this map. Grab a tower, play the tower, play map again, crack the map, grab the cycle land, play bauble, get back uh, the bauble. That way we're not uh, in too much danger from a relic. And that is it for us for the moment. Pass. If they go to kill the Marauder, we could sacrifice it and then bargain the altar. I don't think that's the greatest plan, but it is something we can do. They're gonna try to. They're gonna two for one us again. Okay, they're gonna two for one themselves, but they also get the. They get it back, with the wellspring. Um, here actually, I can um, sacrifice this and draw two with this polluted mire. Forgot about that. Hmm. What do we have in the graveyard? Star, Terrarion, Bobble. And two maps. So we can salvage some stuff and then hold up bargain for the Golem Foundry.
Okay, Gum Foundry, play Bobble. Bobble get back to salvage. And then I guess just play Star. Crack Star for black. By Terrarion. Now we're gonna hold up Reckoner's Bargain on the Golden Foundry. For their Dust to Dust. So this is a juicy Dust to Dust target. If they pass and go to end step, I'm gonna bargain the Terrarion. Okay, nothing. Okay. Do this. Blow up that. Draw some cards. There's one retriever. We're close. Okay, we got it. Uh retriever. Sack the retriever. Get back. Star. Retriever. Okay. Let's see if they scoop again. Retriever. Retriever. Get it back. Alright, let's make it easier on ourselves. Omen of the dead. Okay. So they're just casting that to interrupt the loop? That's fine. I don't care. I don't know what's happening. They scry? Sure. And they conceded. Multiple times we had someone just uh, concede and go out the honorable way. Thank you, opponents. I'll see you in the next round. I'm going to take a break and uh, record the rest of it in the morning. We're here in round four versus Sugiyo. We're on the play. I'm going to keep it. And I'm going to play first. That's what I meant. But I'm definitely not keeping this. Mulligan. This is going to be Mulligan 2. Okay, this is going to be a keep. So what do we put back? We have to put back two cards. I feel like it's going to be the altar and a bobble. So we're just like setting up for two turns and then uh, hopefully doing stuff. We just have to draw into a dispute or a bargain and then we can start refilling our hand and getting past this mulligan. Looks like we're on, facing a Mardu deck again. Power plant. Grab a mine. Yes, it is Mardu again. Okay, so we know, we have a plan. We know exactly what to do. And we just kind of don't want to get wildfired because we already have our one basic in play. I'm actually going to play out these Terrarions here because I want to have untapped sources for next turn. If I crack... Um, the map on my turn next, I'll still have 5 mana. Assuming they don't wildfire me, which looks like they're not going to. Journey to Nowhere doesn't matter for me, which is good. So that's a whiff on their synth. They Glenhawk and pick up the synth. Hmm, I wonder. Well, okay, they do pick up the synth. They don't hit an untapped land, so they just get a sky. They get nothing, and they play a bridge, and they pass. That synth got them zero value. Okay, so crack, get our tower, play the tower, let's crack for black, blue, just in case we draw teachings, but we don't, I'll play the mirror retriever and pass. So now we have tower and power plant in hand, 
We're no longer cold, really, to a wildfire, unless they wildfire the mine for some reason. But usually when they have all the options, they'll go for the tower on the, uh, with the wildfire. And they pick up the synthesizer. So they're starting to present a big clock in the air. They pick up the, um, compass this time, not the synthesizer. Map. Crack map. Cycle in and cycle it. Chromatic sphere. <laughs> Let's attack. They're not going to take it. They're not going to block. Pretty good. Pretty good plan from them. There's no need to give me value. We just keep finding more maps. I'm mapping along. So I guess I get a mine. I can get a mine or a cave. Cave's probably better here. All right, we have not found any disputes in the top uh, almost 20 cards. We really need that to start uh, moving here. They only have one red source, but they have the navigator's compass, so there's the compass. Go to 25, so I have another red source. We're going to take four, go to 14. Synthesizer. There's a wildfire. But they can't cast it. Phew. Take four. They just keep whiffing on their synths. Column foundry. So, blue green. Bobble. So we'll play the foundry out. Bobble. I don't have anything we really want to get back. Could potentially get back the polluted mire. We've used one, two, three maps, four maps, so we don't want the polluted mire for sure. So we just get back nothing. There's deadly dispute. Deadly dispute the retriever, get back the bauble. Play the bauble. Bauble. Whoops. Bobble back the disputes. Hmm. Just try to draw a little bit more cards. I'm gonna bargain the treasure token. Play Terrarion. Okay, so next turn we can teachings for um, weather, teachings for dispute, dispute, and then weather. And then we can gain a bunch of life. And then uh, that'll stall out a little bit. I think there's enough mana to do that. Teachings, teachings, dispute. So we would need a little bit more mana or something else to do. We need more, more colored sources. But we do need to weather the storm to come back into the game. We have tower power plant. They wildfire their own bridge. Okay. Yeah, that's a good idea. They get another red source. They were kind of uh, lagging on red sources before, so that makes sense. I'm just going to make a golem and pass. That way I don't have to keep clicking. <laughs> They return their wellspring. Get in for four. So we're potentially dead on their next turn. Okay, we have the sphere. Sphere. 
blue. Okay, found the altar. So if a retriever wins the game. Teachings. Two, three, six. Oh. I can teach you for teachings and then teachings for weather. I'm trying to count my mana. One, two, three, four, five, eight. And then nine, ten. So if I teachings again, I have four left over. Teachings again. Okay, perfect. We have enough. Teachings. Get weather. Black. Three mana. This is exactly the amount of mana we needed. Dispute. And then next turn, um, we have Altar into Bobble into Scattershot. And take out one of their creatures. If we draw more things to do, we can kill everything. If we draw the mirror retriever, we just have infinite and kill their board. Okay, they make the thing into a mountain and they bolt the 3-3. Three, three. Since we gain so much life, I guess the clearing the board makes sense for them. Next turn we'll have another 3-3. Three, three off of these two triggers on this. Gets in for six. No problem. We take six, go to 19. They have four cards in hand. They crack a synthesizer. Another gal blast, so they just send that face. Put us to 15. They have eight power on the board. So I'd like to I'd like to loop and wipe their board so that we remove all their pressure. There's the teachings. So oh we just don't have enough colored sources to do teachings for anything uh, of relevance. So we're gonna play out this. Bobble bag the bobble. Reckoner's bargain. They alter. One, two. So we can kill both of their hawks if we want. That's what I was looking for. Nice. Okay, so white. Salvage, get back, Seer Star, wait, just one Retriever, okay, I got confused there for a second, Seer, Star, Sphere, Bobble, I just put it, I, I stacked it that way because I wasn't sure if I'd made a land drop or not yet. Red. Bobble. Bobble back the salvage. Land. It's, it's four mana. Cast this. Now, we could crack this for green. Seven. This is one, two, three, this is seven, eight, nine. So if we play one more spell, we can wipe their board. So I think it's probably worth it to crop rotation. Green. Crop rotation, this. Hmm. I think I'll just go tower for tower. So we have a mine in hand. Tower. Land. Or sphere. 
And then, should we save it or just keep going? Just save it. This is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Goodbye to your creatures. Same target. One, two, one, two. And the rest can go out of the Skyfisher. They could have Omen of the Dead loops, but they're pretty behind now. They have three cards in hand, and we have Teachings again. So we can actually Teachings for the Salvage again, and Salvage. And then maybe bobble back some of the Disputes. One, two, three. We've used three of our Dispute effects. We have 26 cards left in the library. And they're going to get their synths going. There's a deadly dispute. We just pay attention to the clock here, but we're way ahead. Six cards. There's Omen of the Dead for Skyfisher. So they get to rebuild their board relatively quickly. But it's mine. Blue. Teachings for dispute. Teachings again. Get salvage. White. Salvage. So I'm going to get back the terrarions. Get back everything. Put the terrarions on the bottom. Just cycle a little bit. So try to attack them. We have used nine minutes of clock, and uh, we have to start doing stuff. Okay, kill one of your kill one of your uh, creatures. Easy trade. They're back to seven cards in hand. Tax for two. So we now have three terrarions on the bottom of the um, deck right now. But we can sacrifice the altar, use the altar to sacrifice for the retriever, and then put back something. Retriever back the bobble. Bobble back a dispute effect. We're at 13. Painter's Edict. Okay. Now we're under pressure again. Maybe I should have gotten a weather the storm. Yikes. Munitions? Now we're really under pressure. Okay. Do do do. Mirror Retriever. Sacrifice Retriever, get back Bobble, play Bobble, Bobble, get back, Deadly Dispute, I think we have one more weather in the deck, I'm just going to assume I do, <laughs> okay, so that's the mirror loop, Um, let's 
Let's go green. Crop this. Get a cave. We have one weather left. Hmm. Um, I'm going to crack this. Didn't draw anything. Well, so now we just uh, hope we don't die to munitions this turn. Pull this out. Just makes it a little easier to click through. Okay, go, 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 go. 13 minutes on clock. We're not doing great. We're going. We're going to go up to 30 again. And then I'm going to sacrifice the Mirror Retriever and get back um, a Sphere or something. And then hope to um, top deck a way to draw more cards. Maybe we have to go past uh, 30. 30 damage. Eight. Nine. 30. Play the retriever. Sacrifice. Get back a star. Play the star. Crack for black. Nice. Deadly dispute. This. Draw another dispute. Hello. Oh man, impact tremors. Okay. So another mirror wins. I'm just digging, trying to find a weather the storm. There's a mirror retriever. Okay, uh, red. Get back tremors. Mirror retriever. Yay! <laughs> Thank you, opponent. Whew. That little bit of clock is going to matter a lot. They just don't want to see it. Whew. Scary. Um, Thing in Marauder. Scatter shot's important. Ooh. I wonder if Impact Tremor is going to be useful. I don't think we need it. It might for clock purposes. <gasps> um... Cut one weather, cut one crop. I like having all the access to teachings. I think I'm going to cut the impact tremors. Hmm. 
I'll just cut the other crop rotation. It's bad against... Um, the reason to have crop rotation in this matchup specifically would be for um, for the cleansing wildfire, but the crop rotation is meant to just get us fast, fast, fast drawn. And I think this is a grindy matchup where we're wanting to have a ton of life gain and then win with golems. We have to be very, very careful about the clock here. What I could have done is um, gone straight for trying to find more stuff so I could find impact tremors and win the game. Uh, keep. And then maybe that would have worked out, but I don't I don't know. It was risky at that point, I think. They mulled a five. Maybe they're mulling to a relic. Land go. Or land relic go. Land. Play land, bobble, pass. They have black white. Plays a wellspring. Okay. What we're lacking here is any colored sources. So we're looking to draw into some magic spheres and stuff. Play that. My tower. Pass. I think I might, um, hmm. I don't really want to bargain the bobble. It's not a, not a good plan. We're losing some card advantage. Of course, Guy Fisher. Okay, pass. Plays a red land. Bobble, nothing. Black. Wow. I was lucky. Like this. Bargain. Wow, okay. So we could play the Golem Foundry. Or we just go Chromatic Star. Pass. I'm just playing, trying to play around a dust to dust. Double retriever and altar would be infinite golems at this point. Cleansing wildfire their own land. Okay. F6. We're going to have 7, 8, 9 mana so we can cast Fanger Marauder into Mirror Retriever. Then if they have a Chainer's Edict, we can just Edict away the Mirror Retriever for another egg. Okay, Swamp's pretty good. Um, so let's play Tower, or play Golem Foundry. Hmm. Play Mirror Retriever. Play Swamp. We can Teachings for Dispute and Dispute the Retriever. Glintock. Wellspring. Want to get to the point where we can get the Fanger Marauder on the board and start uh, gaining a million, million life. And we're going to want to get back a star from the graveyard. Deadly Dispute. Okay. Storm is three. We have the scatter shot, but I don't really think we need to use it just now. Blue. Teachings, dispute, dispute this, get back, uh, star, double marauders. Hmm. 
Mm. Star. I think we're good to sit on this. We're going to get rid of uh, the swamp and a mine. Wellspring. Okay. Okay, so that's storm two. Storm three. So we can kill both the hawks this turn. Storms four. Pick up the wellspring. Five. Okay, I guess now we want to take advantage of it. Kill all your hawks. Blocks. Okay. Cave. Green. Dragon Marauder. And they scooped the Marauder. Too much life. I love it. Thank you. See you in the last match. Dragon Marauder too strong. Round 5 versus Imperia 86. We have Tron. We're going to keep it. Have Tron will keep. <laughs> Put him all against a six. Land map. Very simple turn one, two, three here. Are they on Kaldotha? Yes. So I'm glad we have Tron fast. But we're going to have to look for whether the storm as well. Grab the mine. We have double weather in the main deck. We just need to get up to like 50 life. And then uh, hopefully that's enough to stall for a few turns until we can do it again. Right now we can draw, draw one, two, three, four, five. Although the rebirth. So do they have a land? They do have a land. So they're going to sacrifice the synthesizer or the land? Synthesizer. Okay, so they just get creatures on the table. And this uh, goes to exile forever. We take three, go to 16. Play the map, crack the map for the mire. Deadly dispute setting up still. Found a retriever. Pass. We could have tried to high roll and hit a weather the storm there, but I didn't think it was very likely. Okay, gonna take four, go to eleven. Alright, this is pretty much our turn to gain life or die. This puts us to 10. Pull. 
get back to dispute. Sphere. Green. Golem Foundry. Hmm. So we play land. Let's cycle this. Play Golden Foundry. Play map. Darn. Did not get there. So we're likely dead now. We did draw down to almost 40 cards in the deck pretty quickly. Now they're just counting. Okay, so they need one more burn spell. Because they have five damage on the table. Getting back the star here. Okay. I don't know why. Yeah, it was wait. Oh, uh, we are pretty close. Okay, that's definitely not good enough. And then we can... We want to focus on infinite storm and life. So maybe the teachings isn't that good. We don't need the scatter shot specifically. It's going to be a little bit slow. Golem Foundry might be also not necessary. We're just probably not going to have time for casting teachings. And then since we're bringing an extra life gain, we don't need teachings for it. That's the plan. Get life. Get life fast. Yes. Okay, keep... Land, map, get the mine, and then we go foundry, terrarium, star. Now, this deck plays Molten Rain and Relic. We'll see how much they want to try to disrupt us and how much they want to try to uh, win via being very fast. Plays Great Furnace and Swift Spear. So right now they're on the Attack You Quickly plan. And we can make one Golem on the next turn. We can actually crack Star for Crop Rotation. So we can Star for Green, Crop the Tower for Tower. Fine. And maybe have even more things to do. Right now this is uh, representing 1-3-3 three, three on the table. Place another Swiss beer. Oh man. So the fun police used to be fairies, but now the fun police is just burn. Golem Foundry, Terrarion, Star, Bobble, Green. Hmm. I guess I don't want to do that. Bobble back, nothing.
Yeah, we probably want to be able to use the uh, Deadly Dispute and Bargain on the next turn. Relic. All right. Attacks. Make a 3 3. What say you, opponent? Kill your 3 3. So we take 7. Black. I could have black, black on the Terrarion. Play map. Dispute the Terrarion. Looking for Weather the Storm now. Fang and Marauder. One, two. Green. So I'm trying to think if this is enough life. Play the star. Play the star. So if we crop rotate this with this, we're going to have six mana exactly. Or we can go to play that. Green, crop, tower. Six. Doesn't seem good enough. I guess getting the finger marauder on the table is probably the play. have to have nine points of burn in hand in order to win. Get rid of the tower. Expedition map. Doesn't matter. We lost. There's one bobble in the yard. So if we untap, crack this for black, Reckoner's Bargain, the Golem. They have four cards in hand. Can they kill us? Can they kill us? If they have like bolt, bolt. Both of these are six. I mean, cast a rebirth. Cracks the relic. Okay. Maybe they're looking for Fire Blast mana. Okay, now they have Galvanic Blast online. Chain Lightning on that guy. No. Chain Lightning again. We're going to take six. Hmm. 
So we can crack this for white. Get it back. Cast it. Black. Terrarion. Black. Bargain the Terrarion. We have two blockers. We're dead to a Galvanic. And we're dead. We're dead in multiple things. Okay, so they got us. <coughs> we couldn't get there in time. All right, that was a pretty fun league overall. Just crushed mid range, and then we beat. Uh, we lost to uh, red. Just that deck is hard, and we lost to slivers on mistake. And I forget what this deck was, but we had fun. Hope you had fun too. We'll see you in the next video.